Yeah, so what we're gonna do today is we'll do a little um work on some motorcycles today. We're going to um change out the clutches on my 2015 Road Glide special. Uh and um yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> So uh, what had happened was um, I was running with my boy, uh, you know, talking shit, tried to run him. Uh, his motor was an 88. He had an 88 motor. I got a 103. Um, only thing I know that he had done with his so far is the, um, he had a power vision on it. Well, um, I have a power command on mine, and it has, uh, says that it has a stage two. I'm not too sure uh, if it does have the cams on it for the stage two. Um, it's the lower end of the um, Screaming Eagle set. So maybe for the CVO, because this is a special. So um, if it's the CVO, it has CVO cams in it, I probably can't tell the difference that it has a cam on it. But stage one, it does have the um, intake, Screaming Eagle, high intake, uh, two in the one D and D uh, exhaust pipes with the tune, Pro Tune on it, the uh, Screaming Eagle Pro Tune on it. So it does have that, I know for a fact on the stage one. Um, yeah, so I've also put a um, power commander on it. So I mean, she runs, uh, she sounds damn good. Sounds damn good. Matter of fact, uh, the motor ain't broke. So how about we just crank it up? Yeah, so, but yeah, no way, man, no way. Robert, if you watching this right now, man, there's no way you should have been gapping me like that. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. But it was cause my clutches had went out. So, um, continue the story before we, you know, get into it. Um, uh, on the first rip, he pretty much didn't say nothing. He was just revved up and then he just went. Second time we went, we counted off, I dusted him. Ate his ass alive. Um, on the third rip, um, I mean, pretty much, uh, it was the same thing from the first time, but my bike wasn't giving it too much. Like, I couldn't really do nothing. So, um, with that being said, I messed around and um, we both stopped. We looked uh, at his bike. He thought it was something going on with his bike. Uh, had a little oil up underneath the uh, the casing for the clutches or whatnot. But, you know, like I said, um, Robert Crazy, like that motherfucker be jumping fucking heels and shit in his Harley. So we're not even gonna talk about that. But, um, yeah, so got ready to ride out. Uh, he was going to go his way. I was going to go my way. We was going to ride for a couple of minutes till he got to the highway. And um, on our way pulling off, started pulling off. And right up to about, mm, I'll say about 2,000, 2,300 RPMs, it just started revving. Put it in second gear. It just started revving. Around the same RPMs, just, you know, um, I got a little bit of power, but not a lot of power. But once I hit about 2,000, 2,300 RPMs, she just started revving. And, um, yeah, so uh, I called uh, called the Harley dealership, um, just let them know what was going on, see what was going on, check and see if it was still up under warranty. And um, 
He asked me, was it sputtering? Was it, you know, doing this? Was it doing that? I said, no, I don't think it was doing. It was just revving. And once I told him that, he was just like, huh? I was just like, yeah, I already know. You finna get tell me something that I do not want to hear. And lo and behold, yeah, it was the, um, it was the clutches. So, um, hey, got me some Barnett's clutches. Y'all got to excuse me. I opened up the pack already. But some Barnett Kevlar clutches. Um, real good clutches. Um, if you ever need some clutches for your bike, man, that's the way to go. Um, we're going with some primary fluid, which is the, uh, the V-Twin primary fluid. Uh, Maxima primary fluid. So, um, I got, uh, two quarts of that. Um, yep. Um, pretty much. I ended up getting me one of these. It's a Bike Master. Um, oh, what the hell is that on my screen? But yeah, uh, went and got a Bike Master. Um, whatever it is, just a little cylinder. Tells you all your measurements and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's good to have that stuff handy. Um, Oh yeah, and I also got a diaphragm for spring, heavy duty, you know what I'm saying? That's going to hold the power down on the doggone clutches to put power to the road. We finna get it. So it runs pretty good. I think I still need to go get it fine tuned a little bit, but for the most part, um, yeah, pretty much just got to... Just take it a little bit at a time. Look at my baby right there. Yeah. I still ain't did shit to her. I'm starting to take her down. Try to get it ready. I'm gonna pull the whole motor out of it. That way, so, uh, that way, I got one little bitty seal. It's $12, but I gotta bust down the whole engine just to get to it for the uh, clutch push rod seal. Um. So I gotta take out the whole motor, bust it down. There's no other way you can do it. Trust me, I've looked, I've tried. If y'all know another way I can do it without me having to put JB Weld behind it, trying to do it from the outside, please let me know. Um, pretty much just, uh, you know, I ain't never did clutches before. So this is gonna be my first time. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Without further ado, let's get to it. Look at that. See that? Mm, got a little bit of shard in there. Yeah. As y'all can see, got a little bit of some metal shavings right off in there. clutches that I'm changing out. I'm going to take out the old ones from here and I'm going to put them in the what's the name? 
That's my son, CJ. Say hey, CJ. Hey. No, he ain't camera shy. I don't know why he acting like that. Uh, but yeah. So, your daddy gonna knock that out, big dog. All right, guys, so there it goes. Looking pretty spiffy. Yay. Look like I am gonna have to change this out next. I thought about it. Go ahead on and doing it, but yeah, I get it on the next rip, pretty much. Yep. Look at there. There she blows. <sighs> Next is going to be a size 10. All six of these. You're going to take a little bit off one at a time. That way. So, it has tension on it. On the um, on the clutch spring, so you don't want to take it all off at one time. You're just gonna loosen it up, and then you're just gonna take them off a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Killing right. them.
right, guys. Fuck. Took me for fucking ever. Look like some of them was bent, though. Uh, yeah, they pretty much was burnt. Like that one burnt. 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 So, uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, so, um, when I done got those out, fuck, that was a bitch to take out. Uh, GoPro ran out of juice. Um, so, pretty much, I'm gonna have to do the rest of it with my phone. Um, yeah. So, with that being said, man, that shit was a bitch. I ain't gonna lie to you, that shit was a whole bitch. But, um, yeah, he pretty much got everything got. So, uh, case it don't look too bad. Everything seemed pretty good on it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead on and I'm gonna hit it with some brake cleaner. And then once I hit it with some brake cleaner, um, and I can put all the new ones in there, as you can see. Um, and then after that, we can just start putting everything back together. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I mean, let's get it. Y'all put them in. Right. When y'all put them in, y'all do want to make sure that it's flat. Want to make sure that the edges are flat. Run it flat with the what's name. Because if not, when you get ready to put it back in there, uh, put everything else back together, it's not gonna, it's not gonna sit right. So with that being said, ooh, let me get you right. It's not gonna sit right. So with that being said, yeah, I see I got all the shit on my on my bike. Mm, yeah, shit. But um that way, uh, like I said, it's not gonna sit right if you don't. Um you can see the these rings, friction, friction disc compared to these friction, way more surface. Um way better than a stock application. Um, so you should be good on that front. Um, most of y'all that, um, that's looking this up, uh, I felt like maybe I should have went with the, with the carbon, but I got the, Kev uh, the Kevlar. Um, I'm gonna work these out, check and make sure everything good with these and um, work them out until the next, Next time, it's time for me to change my clutches because I am bad on them. I'm bad on clutches. Uh, but, yeah, for the most part, man, that's it. Uh, pretty much, you'll do reverse and everything you did to take everything off. Um, main thing is make sure that your, your spring plate and everything is... Uh, set up the right way. It's really kind of foolproof, foolproof, kind of stupid, stupid proof. So you can't really fuck that up. But, uh, you know, for the most part, it is what it is. So with that being said, um, if y'all just coming to this page, um, I'm just starting out this fairly new um, vlogging and all of that type of shit. So, uh, y'all bear with me. I got, I'm learning a lot. Um, I actually had some stuff that I was already doing from when I was doing videos and stuff like that, but nothing never on this scope of work. So, um, yeah, man, hopefully, man, we're gonna have a whole lot more in the future. Um, like I said, um, in the future, I'm planning on getting me a 350Z. I'm probably gonna put a turbo on it. 
I got a um I got a little 2010 Hyundai Elantra. Uh once I get done with the Z, because I'm gonna need a uh everyday uh daily car. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh I'm gonna get a 350Z. I'm gonna fix it up and uh when I get done uh, toning it up, I'm going to put a turbo on the on the uh, Hyundai Elantra. So we're going to boost everything right here. If I can't have a V8, it got to be boosted, baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's all I'm used to is V8s. Uh, so with that being said, um, yeah, man. Let me know what you think my name for my shop should be, man. I mean, I'm just doing it at the house, but uh, you know what I'm saying? I got big plans. So, you know, maybe even get a shop one day or something. Um, start doing some performance tunes, stuff like that. Um, so the only way to really get into it is just to do it. So as you can see, uh, we're not just fooling with bikes. We fooling with cars, uh, pretty much anything with a motor on it. Uh, Cause I'm also thinking about building me some uh, drift carts, uh, building me some go karts, uh, toning them up, you know. So, um, man, like I said, if it got an engine on it, I'm fucking with it. If it got an engine on it, I'm fucking with it. So, with that being said, uh, man, y'all fuck with me, and we can all fuck with it together. Uh, on some real shit. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead on, man, knock this shit on out. Put the shit back on here. Killing up. Take and see how she do. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget, man, to like, subscribe, comment below. Hey, hit that like button, man. Um, let YouTube know that this is some good content, uh, something useful, helpful to you, uh, educational to you. Uh, you know, and, um, you know, like I said, man, y'all just stay tuned. I got more things coming. I got more things coming. You know what I'm saying? So, when it's all said and done with, um, yeah, that's it right there. Gotta button up a couple of little more things. Um, I gotta put my my foot, my my running board back on there. Um, put my running board back and put my kickstand back. And then after I put my kickstand back, we pretty much be good. So, um, y'all get at me.